while I've got you here, let me just tell you a little bit more about what Methods at Manchester does. So we aim to train the next generation of researchers. And we do this through a whole range of different events from um, training courses and workshops. We have a lunchtime seminar series. We have the methods fair where you can learn about different kinds of methods that are being used. And we have our summer school as well. Um, and a lot of what we do is free. So you can come along to these free events and sometimes short events or full day events that you can sign up to. And we have experts from Manchester delivering the training or from, from across the UK delivering training courses for us. So the Methods Fair is a flagship event um, in our calendar, but so is our summer school. Uh, we have a summer school for two weeks. It's in June, towards the end of June, beginning of July. And in the summer school, you can take a course for four days where you can learn about a method to use or an analytical approach, really get some in-depth understanding of that and how to use that approach. So we're currently finalising our summer school programme and we're hoping to advertise it and open up registrations from January 2019. Now this year, we were fortunate that Kieran and his colleague Valeria Luongo were able to make a promotional film for us. So rather than me tell you about the summer school, I'm just going to play the film. This is the first time, debut, of our summer school promotional film to give you a flavour of what we do. The University of Manchester is renowned for its world-leading research, so what we aim to do at the Summer School at Methods at Manchester is to teach anyone who wants to learn about a new or even traditional research method. One of the best things about coming here, other than the great city of Manchester, is uh, you learn from professors who are at the leading edge of research. I'm researching cybercrime hacking, online fraud, so hopefully this will help me make some sense of a huge data set. It's a very intense course, but it's really helping me to get to grips on the one hand with the theoretical models, but on the other hand also with the technical aspects of how to use the software. So I'm taking the course which is the introduction to longitudinal analysis. So I'm looking at how antisocial behaviour changes across the life course. And the course has taught me how to use multi-level growth curve modelling and latent growth curve modelling to look at that change over time. So it's not just abstract, it's also practical for your own specific projects. I get to know students from everywhere. They always bring in different problems, different perspectives, so we work a lot on the data, on the design of the research, on the type of analysis, and obviously on the methods and the softwares that they can use. Many students find that at their home university the, there are very few people that understand what they're doing. Coming here, spending a week with other people with similar problems, they all of a sudden realise that there are other people out there like them. Getting to interact with some of the best students around the world and be a part of their own social network that you can use and ask questions and maybe even research with in the future. Methods at Manchester isn't the only organisation in a higher education institution that's delivering methods-related training for postgraduate research students and anyone else who wants to learn a particular method to use. Um, we're partnered, Manchester University is partnered through the Northwest Social Science Doctoral Training Partnership with Liverpool University, Keele University and Lancaster University and they all have expertise or experts that can deliver uh, research methods training and some of these do this under the umbrella of Methods Northwest. So within at Liverpool they have Engage at um, <coughs> Liverpool, at Keele it's Methods at Keele and at Lancaster it's going to be Methods at Lancaster, so much like we have Methods at Manchester. So through those um, organisations you'll be able to access training from experts in those institutions. And so what Methods, at Ma North Methods Northwest is aiming to do is bring together that expertise, allowing you to access expertise in another institution 
kind of be aware that there's expertise there that you can access that you might not be able to get in your own institution. So they are delivering various training events as well. Um, and as part of Methods Northwest, there's two key initiatives. We've got the Methods Exchanges and we've also got Collaborative Innovation Grants. In respect of the latter, there's going to be a call um, uh, made for uh, applications for these grants towards kind of the next kind of few weeks, uh, next month or so. Um, so let me just tell you a bit more about the methods exchanges. So the aim here is for students to learn about research methods in a very kind of safe environment, a critical kind of get some critical feedback on their own ideas, testing out ideas, but in a safe environment with other peers, their own kind of student peers. Um, so it involves communities of researchers using similar methods and they're coordinated by students in the later stages of their projects. So students are in the third year of their PhD are coordinating these communities. And they have regular meetings and events um, where students will discuss a particular research method, a uh, particular kind of issue connected to that it might be ethics or how to use a particular method. Um, and there's opportunities for first year students to get involved too. So it's, uh, the communities are kind of led by the third years, but first and second years come along to the presentations and might be delivering as well. And um, there's also an annual uh, conference, um, Methods X conference, and next year that's going to be in Liverpool around about May time. Um, so if you interested in and you should be interested in the things that you can access across our partner institutions just go to the methods northwest website uh, to keep up to date with what's happening there and finally just to keep up to date with us uh, you can sign up to our newsletter if you haven't already done so um, you can follow us on twitter um, and uh, you know you can just go to our website and find out what we're doing go to the connect tab as well um, do go back and tell your colleagues, your fellow students, your supervisors about Methods at Manchester and the programme that we deliver. Um, and I really hope that you enjoy today, that you find it inspiring and you learn a lot from the presentations that you go to see today.